This is a short demonstration of the disaster area DMC controller board used to send MIDI note on and note off messages. Uh, we're looking here at one of the previous revision DMC boards. This would be a DMC uh, version 1. It's got the larger screw terminals and you can see the through hull microcontroller. So it's uh, quite a bit bigger than the current revision of boards. It's also got larger gauge wire screw terminals. Um, it's being powered here by the USB and we've got the blinky light to let us know it's alive. And then the MIDI out is going to um, my Mac uh, using my M-Audio Pro Keys 88 here. So uh, we've got the Pro Keys 88 connected to um, Sample Moog here from IK Multimedia. And Sample Moog is set to a uh, strings patch. So all uh, very basic. Um, sort of a sample Moog, um, poly Moog kind of a patch here. Um, but on the other end, we've actually got a set of bass pedals out of an old Lowry organ. Uh, I scavenged these out of the organ, and um, they're uh, basically just 13 switches on this big printed circuit board here, and the switches use a wire contact so that when you step on the pedal, you connect the wire to a ground bus had to make a few mods to the board in order to make the pedals polyphonic, but um, the firmware works with the old low note priority uh, organ based pedals with no rewiring or firmware changes needed. So basically we step on this pedal here, my bare foot, and out of the speakers you can hear the nice D note. And then if we step on two at the same time, so you can hear they are polyphonic. Um, so that's a very simple um, bit of firmware that goes in there. It's considerably less complicated than what's in a DMC2, 4, 6, um, something like for looper control. Uh, so that'll just give you an idea of some of the other things that you can use the DMC boards for.